So if you have a gas club car onward, or a gas club car tempo, or a club car precedent, and you're tired of going 12 to 15 mile an hour, tired of people passing you on the road in their golf cart, tired of it taking so long to go from point A to point B, and you'd like to go 20 plus mile an hour, stick around, because I have a handful of tools and a need for speed. These are standard fleet club cars from the golf course, and that's a brand new club car onward, but they all have the same throttle cable, governor, and all the same adjustments. And the same tools I'm using in this video will also work on all three of these carts. I feel like I need to make this disclaimer because I'm a club car dealer. If you have a gas club car onward and it's under warranty, I would not speed it up. A dealer is not gonna honor the warranty of the cart. They're not gonna replace your engine or your axle or your clutch. Even if it has nothing to do with you speeding your cart up, they're not gonna honor it. We wouldn't honor it if we saw a customer turn their cart way up. So I wouldn't recommend recommend it. Not that you're going to listen to me. You aren't under warranty. I feel like I need to make the disclaimer that clutch, your belt, all that stuff on your cart is not going to last quite as long if it's going a lot faster than it currently does. So with those two things in mind, let's get to this video. That's enough talking. Let's start actually speeding this thing up. I am using the Tempo because it only goes 12 mile an hour right now. I wasn't going to use the club car onward. You got to remove your cooler in your back seat to do what I'm getting ready to do on this Tempo here. To speed this up, I need four tools. I got a T40 torque bit, an impact drill. You can also use a socket if you really want to. A 10 millimeter wrench and an 11 millimeter wrench. Panel popper. You could also use a flathead screwdriver, but let's start. I got four T40 screws in each rocker panel. I'm going to pull these four screws out. And then now, pedal assembly cover. There's a hole in here so you put your finger in there. Throttle adjustment right here by our throttle. This cable is what we're going to be adjusting. So before I start adjusting anything by the pedal, I'm going to adjust the governor back here. And the thing we got to do here first is remove the engine cover. And this is where you would use your panel popper or flathead screwdriver. So there's a little, there's like little grooves in this. So you got to make sure you're putting it in the grooves correctly. And there is our axle and all of our governor adjustments. What we're going to be adjusting is this uh, governor bolt, this governor bolt, the governor as well. We're going to use our 10 millimeter. This bolt is out like half an inch, so I'm going to loosen the nut. What I'm doing is I'm backing this bolt out. There is a little bit of bolt left in there now. And then I'm going to tighten it back up. Don't overly do it so hard to the point where you're stripping the bolt out. Now I'm adjusting this 10 millimeter bolt as well. Right here is your governor arm. You want it to be kind of in the middle. If it's resting close to the front or close to the rear, how you adjust that, but well, you got a long thread right there. There's two 10 millimeter nuts keeping this thread in place. If I wanted to adjust it, I would slip my 10 over the nut right here. I don't really need to adjust the governor arm, but just in case I did, that nut right there, and then it allows you to move that thread back and forth. So that should be it for adjusting the governor bolts, the governor arm. As long as everything looks like that, it should be good. There's a bolt by your engine to adjust the air and gas. If that's adjusted, that can throw all of this stuff out of whack. Only thing we gotta do to speed this card up now is just adjust the throttle cable by the pedal. If you wanna see more videos like this, where I'm working on a club car or any other golf carts we sell, then please hit that subscribe button, or if there's a specific thing you want to see me do, then put a comment below, hit that like button. We've got about an inch and a half of thread on this throttle cable. On the front side, the less thread you have here, the faster the cart is. You want to start loosening one of the nuts, and now I'm going to start running that up. Typically, it doesn't work very well if you run this nut all the way to the end of the throttle cable. So I just moved that about half an inch, and that will make a huge difference. Don't over tighten this. There is little washers with teeth on the inside of them right here. Also make sure that this thread is pushed all the way down where this groove is sitting. If you go too far on that thread, the cart won't putt. You won't be able to go one mile an hour and also 20. Thread it out too much, it will just go 20 mile an hour. Stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do on every gas club car we build and sell. And that's literally all you have to do to speed it up. Let's take this out on the road and speed test it. 19 mile an hour. I'm gonna show you the little trick I like to do. So how we were doing this throttle cable earlier, this is just a plastic piece that the throttle cable is bolted to. This throttle cable was actually coming out. It's just sitting down in a groove. So what I do, I take a screw, at least an inch, and I put it right at the edge here where I'm against the nut. And I run it until that head of the screw is against the nut. That's what we do with little and everyone. Also, since we're here, this is just a tempo. It's not an onward, so it doesn't have the brake pad in here yet. But if you have a gas club car onward, this brake light wire is going to be ran through here. This was rubbing against this and shorting out. So what we do is we run it through here. 
underneath. And then we tape this all up. I zip tie it and then I tape it low too. We try to keep this wiring away from this throttle cable as much as possible. Before you put that screw in, make sure both of those 11 millimeter nuts are tight. Come back here, make sure both of your 10 millimeter nuts are tight and make sure your 10 millimeter nut on the governor cable is tight as well. That is it. So if this video helped you, please leave me a comment below saying thanks or whatever. If you ran into something that wasn't really in this video that looks a little different, just shoot me a comment below. We have our contact information in all our videos on our, on our website. I'll see you next, whatever we're calling this golf cart mechanic series. Thanks for watching.